In this problem, we're given a vector-valued function, and we have to answer two questions. The first question is asking us to find the unit tangent vector at pi over 4. The second question wants the equation of the tangent line to the graph of this vector-valued function at this point. It turns out, coincidentally, that if you plug in pi over 4 into this vector-valued function, you'll get this point. So um, this vector here is going to be our parallel vector that we're going to use when it comes time to do part B. All right, let's start by finding the unit tangent vector. So the formula for the unit tangent vector is big T of little t, and it's equal to the derivative of our vector valued function divided by the magnitude of the vector valued function or the magnitude of the derivative. Um, so now we're ready to take the derivative. So let's do it. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this will be negative 7 sine t. Good stuff. Pretty easy derivative. And then the derivative of sine is cosine. So this will be 7 cosine t. And then um, the derivative of 8 is 0. We can plug in the number and then find the magnitude or just find the magnitude. Let's just go ahead and find the magnitude. I'm pretty sure it's going to be um, 7. And the reason I know it's going to be 7 is, well, you'll see. Basically, the formula for the magnitude says you square each component. So look what's going to happen when you square these. It's really cool. So you square the first one. Then you square the second one. And then, just to be perfect, let's square the 0. So this is the square root of, so squaring the 7, we get 49. So 49 sine squared t. Squaring this one, we also get 49. So 49 cosine squared t. And then squaring the 0 is just 0, so it goes away. You can pull out a 49, and you can do this. You can break it up if you want into two pieces, like this sine squared t plus, whoops, there's my t, <laughs> plus cosine squared t, which is 1, right? The square root of sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. That's the formula that uh, most people know. So 49, so that is our magnitude. Our magnitude is 49. So I'm going to write that again up here. So the magnitude at pi over 4, let's go ahead and plug in the pi over 4 just to make the point is equal to 49. So that's not the answer, but that's going to be the bottom piece. The top piece, we still have to plug in pi over 4, so let's do that. I'll squeeze it up here. So r prime of pi over 4 will be, let's see, so the sine of pi over 4 and the square root of, uh, and the cosine of pi over 4 are both equal to um, the square root of 2 over 2. This will be square root of 2 over 2, 7 square root of 2 over 2, and then 0. All right, now we just have to divide everything by 49 to get the answer. Let me switch colors here. So t prime of pi over 4 is going to be the final answer. So it's this, it's this thing here. And then we're dividing everything by 49. So it's going to give us, um, I'm going to write it like this, uh, negative 7 square root of 2. And then 2 times 49, I'll reduce it in a minute, plus 7 square root of 2, and then 2 times 49, and then plus, uh, sorry, comma, and then 0 over 49 is 0. So this is equal to, um, let's see what happens here, angle bracket. So 7 goes into 49 7 times, so we get negative square root of 2 over 14. Likewise here, 7 goes into 49 7 times. So we get square root of 2 over 14, and last but not least, we get 0. So this is our parallel vector. Now, a lot of times what people do in problems like this is they make it cleaner. So what I mean by that is you're allowed to multiply this vector by anything you want. So for example, you could multiply the whole vector by 14 and, and then use that for part B. Okay, um, But let's just leave it like this. Okay, part B, part B wants the tangent line. And so the formula for the tangent line, so for B, 
is x equals x naught plus a t, y equals uh, y naught plus b t, and z equals z naught plus c t. Those are the formulas, that's the formula for the parametric equations uh, that's going to give us the equation of the tangent line. So our x naught and our y naught and our z naught, that's our point that's given. And our parallel vector is going to be this uh, tangent vector. Because it's actually on the line, right? If, if you look at a point, and then there's the tangent vector, and then your line, your tangent line is going to be this green line. But notice the vector is on the line, so therefore it's parallel. So x is equal to x naught. So 7, it's this one here. The first one's x naught, y naught, and then z naught. So 7 over root 2. And then a is minus square root of 2 over 14t. y will be 7 over root 2. And then b plus uh, square root of 2, 14t. My handwriting's falling apart. z uh, is 8. And then c is 0, so we don't have to worry about it. So those would be the equations of the tangent line. Now again, um, we could have multiplied this by a number to make it look cleaner, but I decided to just leave it. So basically all you do in this problem is you just use the formula, right? And um, you work through it. And once you have your thing here, your, your t for part b, that's your a, b, and your c, and you use that together with your point and these formulas to find the tangent line. That's it.